there you go. <laughs> darling is enough. You've thanked me already. Do you know how many people I begged for shelter? Even family members that I trusted, they all disappointed me. My darling, that's life for you. You can't trust everyone. They were just coming up with different excuses. The one that even shocked me was my aunt. She said she doesn't want me to stay because she does not trust her husband. Are you serious? I'm telling you. <laughs> like, if you don't trust your husband, why are you still with him? I wonder. Even my cousin that promised me money when my, my apartment caught fire stopped picking calls. Wasn't even responding anymore. Started giving me attitude. Those are the normal thing, Jerry. Anyway, they don't owe me anything. Me, I'll just package my life and start trying to find something for myself. Oh, that's the spirit. You need to work hard and prove to them that you don't need them. Ah, Patricia, if not for you. Ha! Ah. I would have been homeless. And if not for my brother that is even managing his life, I won't even have one kobo in my account. Uh, I'm so sorry for you. After working so hard, you rent a house, use your other money to furnish it, and then everything gone within a twinkle of an eye. It's fine. You know what? Free, free. We're relaxed. This is mm. my house. Anything you want and you need, mm. I got you. As far as it's within my capacity. Uh. Until you're able to save some money to get your own apartment. Very blessing. Thank you. <laughs> it's thank okay. You so I mean, don't do Jerry. Don't do they beg me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's fine. Oh, they beg you. Are you not my baby girl again? Oh, you I don't know, know what I've been through. My baby girl! <laughs> All right. Oh, no, I'm done with that. I bet they go. You don't need to beg me. Now that I have somewhere to stay, let me drink too. <laughs> Ha! Ah, this life is hard, though, my sister. Adam's oil and gas. Yes, my man. Remember the name. <laughs> what? <laughs> this guy, like, you're busting my head. Like, imagine you, you came from nothing. Look at the huge enterprise you've acquired. My brother. What is doing you, sir? Are you the only one God is? I mean, you, <laughs> you must be the apple of his eyes. My brother. Congratulations, my brother. man. Thank you, bro. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, brother. What? But uh, it's, it's grace, it's grace. I, mean, I know hard work, uh, perseverance, consistency, they lead to success, but primarily for me, it's grace. It's grace. I know exactly what I want, I know where I'm going, and I know I got to achieve it. Of course, I've always known you, man. I, uh, of course, I know you have a nose for business. You don't play with business. And it's a different thing with knowing businesses and not knowing how to go about it. But you know, you can identify opportunities and you know how to strike it. My brother. <laughs> man, I mean, like, it's the stuff of legend, man. It's amazing. And what is I hear that you're planning to run it yourself? Yeah, I want to be hands on. I want to be around, make sure things are run smoothly. Uh, so I will resume at the office tomorrow. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think that's, that's a great idea, yeah. especially in Nigeria here. Because at this beginning point, if you're not there, if you're not hands on, Things might go south. Yeah. You no, know, an average Nigeria requires serious supervision, and that's the truth. Yeah. So it's a good idea, man. Thank you, bro. Thank Fantastic you. stuff, man. Thank you, bro. Who? <laughs> my boy. <laughs> well, uh, uh, my manager suggested that we have a party for the staff, you know, make sure that we get acquainted with each other, okay. especially, you know, they and myself. So uh, we planned uh, something for tomorrow after work. Well, you're invited, bro. Come around, man. 
Come, let's have fun. Are you are you inviting me? I'm inviting officially. I'm inviting. Why are you invite? What's up? You're officially inviting yeah, me. Yeah. That's my company now. Okay, of course they have to be. My if, best I friend. Don't, if I don't of come, course. who will come? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there live, eh? Yeah, yeah, well. Lots of drinks, Abby. What you do? See your arm, bro. What, what, what? But your arms bigger. Your arms are bigger. Come Look on, at your come arms, Kaji. <laughs> at your age, you're still looking like you're oh, like you're you're, you're you're in your twenties. <laughs> you're deceiving the girls. <laughs> I'm not looking for them. <laughs> I'm not looking for them, bro. Wow, I am so happy. I'm so. I need, let me drink, bro. Drink up, drink up, drink up, drink up, man. So so excited. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Why are you rushing? At least you would have made breakfast and eat before going now. Ah, no, I can't. Well. I'm already late. We might have a new boss today and I'm likely to be retained as his personal assistant, so I'll just eat when I get to work. Hmm. You're working class people. You guys are trying, no? <laughs> Not for me. Ajabo, I know now. I'll see you in the evening. All right, darling. But be careful. Shine your eyes before taking a cab, before you enter one chance. Yes, mommy. I've heard you. Bye. See you. Yeah. Bye. This kind of any mommy so far. It's not for me. I'm a baby girl for life, and that's why I'm married. Oh my god. Let me go to my beauty sleep. Hey! You just come come past this motor. Where did I worry you? No, they see. No verse. I beg, no verse. No verse. Na oh. Na sumo scratch. I know, no, I beg. I beg. Move, see. Ma you see, know how much this motor costs? I know, I beg. Man to you know how much this car costs? You see, we be, uh, me and you, we be driver. I just chill. I go, I go. So, most of the time, I beg. Na mistake, na mis I beg. I know I take up. You know how much this car costs? You know how much this car costs? You see, wait, you see, wait till you do. Okay, you know they see. I go, I, I, I did the drive. See, book with short time. I beg. Na mistake. I know, I know, no. I know you get just, I just, you just have pull. I beg. No, you no. just come, you just come past this car. Wait till they worry you. See, Are you blind? I'm sorry, na. I'm sorry. I know, no, I take up. That's why I, 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 I beg me in no verse. Best get in the car. Okay, sir. Yeah. What? No grief for this guy, yo. No grief for this guy. Okay, what's the meaning of this rubbish? Adam. I'm late, please. I don't understand. Settle this, my. Let's get out of this place. Please, I'm very sorry, sir. I didn't, I didn't know it happened. It just, it just happened. I don't know, no, no, no mistake. See, see, please, please, please. please. I don't have time I for beg, all this thing. If you I want, beg. I beg, I beg. No okay, verse, see, I beg. if you want to give me money, give me money. Let's get out of this place. I'm late. What's the meaning of this Young one lady, now? What's wrong with you? Don't you have manners? Can't you see he's bleeding? Mr. Man, I beg you in the name of God. Just hold your own. There, I was not talking to you. Don't let me change it for you this morning. If you want to collect money from me, collect money from me. Let me, let me get out of this place. Very sorry, sir. I'm, I will never do it again. It was in, I don't know how it happened. I'm sorry. I, no verse. I mean, no verse. Give him money. Let's get out of this place, please. I don't have time. I'm late. Oga. Ah. Oga me. Sorry. See the time. You can go. He said you can go. Let's go, I beg. Let's go. He said you can go. Let's go, I beg. I'm late. Okay, enter the car now. Let's go. Do you know the time? Ah. What is happening ha. again? Hey, wala o. Hi. Wala. What is wala again? You know great start, madam. Wait, you know great start. Thank you so much, Dad, for the encouragement. It means a lot to me. Of course, I will find the time to visit you in London. Come in. Yeah, yeah. Um, Okay, Dad, we'll talk better next time. I gotta get back to work now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, please extend my regards to Mom, okay? And take good care of yourself. Okay, Dad. Bye. <laughs> Is there a problem, sir? No. It's not a problem. Who's this? Good morning, sir. She's your new personal assistant. I've come to introduce her to you. Where was she when the rest of the staff introduced themselves to me? Sir, I was... Um... I wasn't talking to you. She came late. Never happened before, but I don't know what happened today. I apologize on my behalf. Um, she is Miss Lola Adewi, 
and um, I'm very sure that she'll always be available whenever you need her. Good. Good. Thank you, manager. You can go. Thank you very much, sir. Hmm. Today is my first day at work. I mean, in this office and uh, you being my personal assistant, don't you think it was your obligation to be here before I come to work? Sir? Or do you want me to repeat myself? No, sir. So I can explain. Explain what? Why well, you had a guts to challenge me today. I'm, I'm really sorry, sir. So I recently moved into my friend's apartment. What happened is that... Hey, 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 hey. Don't bore me with your personal matters. I'm not interested. Don't you ever come to work late again. Okay, Do you sir. understand me? Yes, sir. Is there something else you want to say to me? Okay. Then why are you standing here looking at me? Do, do you do you actually think you are a sight to behold? Get out. I will so. Get out was what I asked you to do ten seconds ago. manager calling me again. Hope I don't have to go back to that office. Hello, manager. Hello, Miss Lola. Where are you at? I, I just got home. I'm about entering my house. You're not being serious, are you? Manager, is everything okay? What's going on? Look, the boss organized a get-together for members of his staff at his residence. And you, you're still home? Do you want to put me in trouble? Do you want to implicate me? Ah, Jesus Christ. Do you want him to penalize me for having to clear your, your, your mess up all the time? Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, okay, just, just send me the address. I'll, I'll be on my way. Look, look, Miss Ola. I am not the manager to teach you your job. Okay? I'm not here to teach you your job. Okay? Look, as a personal assistant to the boss, you should know that you were supposed to have been here hours before now. <sighs> Fine, I'll send it, but please don't let this happen again. Don't let it happen again, okay? Right. I sent the address. <sighs> Colleagues are gone already. And I was already considering taking my leave. No one told me about this. But did Mr. Kachi ask after me? Look, Miss Lola, I I'm still wondering how you were the only one who never knew about this arrangement. Well, to answer your question, he asked after you and I told him you were on your way. My friend's house is really far from this place. I, I really hope he understands. I hope so too. Well, just an advice. If he doesn't sack you today, then you do your best to be very nice. I mean, to impress him as from tomorrow. Oh. Sir. 
Sir, I, I can explain for coming late. If you have come earlier this morning, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. Sir, I'm, I'm going through some challenges. I don't, I don't need to hear your excuses because I know they are pointless. Do you like your job? Yes, sir. I love my job, sir. Do you really love your job? Yes, sir. Tomorrow, I arrive at the office before I do. And this should be the last time you ever come to work or to any event late. Okay, Go home. Sir? Go home, Lola. You look stressed. Sir, I'm your assistant. I need to assist you. No, I don't need your assistance here. It's my house. I don't need you around. Go. See you tomorrow. What are you talking about? She said she's in constant nocturnal primitive activities. Who does he even think he is? Patricia, my new boss is an animal. Mm -hmm. He just opens his wide mouth and vomits any rubbish that comes out of it without even thinking if it will hurt someone or not. Mm -hmm. He's heartless, arrogant, rude, cocky, disrespectful, name it. This man insulted me today. I have never been that insulted my entire life. He said I'm not a sight to behold. God. Ah, no one enter. Mm. <laughs> I felt it. Fine girl like you. I swear that man finished you. He finished <laughs> me. And I just swallowed everything because I don't have a choice. If not, Aww. heaven knows I would have insulted him back. Hey. Hey. Secret fish. <laughs> you. You that don't even have mind of your own. Did they not? Okay, your boyfriend is doing shakara for you. Have you been able to even talk to him? Patricia, we are not talking about my boyfriend. We will talk about him. In fact, we will talk about him in this matter. Is it because that time I was just looking at you, we were talking about, hey, my family members, they all disappointed me. <laughs> but yet, your boyfriend, the love of your life, oh, your boo, the one that is chopping things from your body, he couldn't even help you at all. Patricia, you know. I don't know anything. Is he not the same person that started the fire that bought your properties? What help did he render? He doesn't have money. Indeed. Keep defending him. Oh yeah, defend him now. Lola, defender of the universe. See, me eh? I don't have time for anybody that will be doing shakara for me. Oh. I no get time for that kind of rubbish. I know I don't have a job. When you see me, my sugar daddy is going to keep taking good care of me. Alright? <laughs> now you, they defend people. They dear. And please, this is your boss, Kiniko, Kiniko, Kiniko. I'm not interested. Yeah, me. That's the only job I have right now. Ah, that's why you endure. I even suggest that you should change your name from Lola to Endurance. Keep chopping all the insults from this your boss. Hmm? It's what you want. As for me, I know fit. I don't have strength for that. Uh -uh. Are you going to the room? Uh -uh. I'm swimming to the room. But you shall stay now. Stay with me. Indeed. Good night. There's food in the kitchen, though. Try and serve yourself and eat. Everybody's just frustrating me. This man will frustrate me at work. Patricia will still come and add her own again on top. Today is not just my day. Patricia, come now. Help me and serve the food, please. Ask your or what? <laughs> today is not for me, honestly speaking. Stupid, useless man. Sir? Yes? I forwarded the Douglas Company's audit to your mail. Okay. After the meeting with Chief Douglas, what's next? You have a meeting with Mrs. Najim. You have just two meetings today. Okay. Pick your call. So I'll call the person later. Pick your call. Okay, sir. Hello? Why are you calling me now? I'm with my boss. Okay, no problems. I'll talk to you later. Or we can just meet later tonight at the bar. Alright. Okay. Boyfriend? I 
you change your clothes before you get to the bar. I don't understand what you mean, sir. I mean, after a long day at the office, you came to my get-together look in the same way you were at the office. I mean, as a woman who does that. So I couldn't change my clothes that day, I... Can you just stop with the excuses? Always making excuses. Dress the way you want to be addressed. Just stop it. Stop making excuses. Work on yourself. You can do better. <sighs> can you imagine this man? What is he even trying to say? Is he trying to say that I have body odor? What's even his business whether I decide to change or not? How does it even affect him? Just talking anyhow, even the one that concerns him and the one that does not concern him. Always being disrespectful every single time. Thank God he does not even need me in the meeting. Rubbish. Stupid man. <laughs> Take Lola and I to the restaurant close to the office so we can have lunch, okay? All right, sir. I'm not hungry. Okay, get down. Sir? You say you're not hungry. I want to go and have lunch, so get down. Sorry, sir. Lola, you're wasting my time. Get out. Let's go. Miss Lola? Yeah? Here. Our boss called. He said you should work on them. The boss said what? He said that you know exactly what to do. Wait, are you sure? And also, he made mention it should be submitted like first thing like tomorrow morning. Okay. <laughs> are you for real? Yes. You can actually ask the manager if you wish, if you want. But why today? Today is almost over. You can take the documents home, Miss Lola. You can do this. Don't worry. Oh, should I just give me this thing tomorrow morning now? I can't even finish the one I'm working on. Look at the time. Oh, oh my God. Mm. Oh God. I'm just his assistant. I'm certainly not his slave. Uh uh. All this punishment because I refused to have lunch. She's even by force to have lunch. See me see trouble. I would have just had the lunch. She, she, the food was free. Now look at me. Look at the time. Still doing this rubbish work. Couldn't even go to the bar. Nothing, nothing. Stressing my life. Stupid man. I've never seen this type of thing in my life. That is by force to eat to eat lunch. I don't understand.
Wow. She finished it. Impressive. <laughs> wow. This is good work. This is good work. <laughs> hmm. That's good. Hmm. So how are you? It's mine now. Why are you frowning? I'm okay. Do you have this with you? Sometimes you make me feel bad. Oh no. Because I asked you for money now, you want to insult me. I told you to let me and I'll refund it. Is it because of the money you came in person? Are you giving it to me or not? I'll give you, but just answer first. Okay, uh, I'd rather take my leave, so keep your money. Wait now, uh, uh, calm down. You get angry easily. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, dear. <laughs> yeah. uh, don't worry, I promise to refund it next week, okay? I uh, just need it for my business, okay? It's okay. Uh, we still see him tomorrow. Uh, of course. At my favorite restaurant. 5 p.m. is okay, all right? <laughs> okay. Now nah, you're smiling. I'll see you now, okay? <laughs> all right, love you. I love you too. I'll talk to you soon. Sir, I am done with the kitchen. Is there anything else you'd like me to do for you? No, I'm, I'm okay. Okay, sir. Linda? Yes, sir. Do I still have some uh, a goosey soup in the freezer? No, sir. It's finished. I told you yesterday. Oh, I totally forgot. Um, contact the usual chef. Um, let her make some... Uh, Soup, different soup, so we can keep it in the freezer, okay? Okay, sir. Let me send the bill to you and you give it to me. Okay, sir. All right, thank you. Surprise, is it not Daniel again? I knew he was going to stand you up. Very painful. Oh, God. Painful, okay. He's paining you. <laughs> no, now. He's sweating you. Because I don't know what you are doing with him. I don't understand. So I should just let everything go like that? Of course. Did they tie your destiny with his own? Babe, this is a four years relationship we're talking about. And so what? Are you the first person to be in a four years relationship? <laughs> People, they've been in a relationship for five years, 10 years, 15 years, and they let go when it's not working. What's up with you now? I don't understand. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time this guy did something nice for you? When did he even buy you cloth, shoe, bag, or even skincare products? Or even take you to a fancy restaurant to at least chop Chinese food? Mm -mm. I cannot even mention him buying you a car. <sighs> But yet you are jumping buses up and down. 
Patricia, Daniel does not have money now. He's still struggling, and I'm sure with time he'll pick up. Sure. He doesn't have money, but yet he's buying designers up and down. Let me tell you something. If a man really likes you and values you, he will take you as a priority and take care of you. Babe, now, the boy you born so far. You need a rich guy, a rich boy, boy, if possible, a sugar daddy that will take care of you so that this your color will be popping. See, it's not like I don't, I don't like all those things, but I believe in Daniel. God will make a way for him. He will pick ah. up and we'll have a good life. I see. I see you like to endure. As I see you so, you can endure Nigerian's problems. <sighs> Your name should even be called Endurance. Are you sabi? Get yourself a sugar daddy that will take care of you. Sabi again, leave my touch, Are you uh -uh. sabi You're going out to snipe. Before uncle, what am I doing here? My sugar daddy called now, so I have to go. Hmm. Are you? I should like be suffer. careful. The way you are enduring him, eh? I promise you, you can endure Nigerian's problems. Mm, are you sabi? I better carry your wallet and go. Be there! Be careful, Wasting your sir. time thinking about that doesn't even think about you. Bye. Bye, Enjoy bitch. Yourself. Oh, rub it, rub it, rub it. Come on, be ready. The money you sent to me last week has finished. I have bills to sort out. Mm. I know. I told you to manage that one. Mm? <laughs> you know, my wife is back from her trip. And she's monitoring me ever since. I'll send her back now. Ah, huh? Don't say like that now. If I do that, she will think that I am cheating on her. Which you know I'm not. Who cares? <laughs> ah, don't talk about my wife like that now. Ah, so you're going to support her? Mm -hmm. It's okay. What about me and my bills that I have to sort out? Omotundi, my little girl. Is you and I here now? Eh? I will give you any amount you want. You will? Any, wait. Ah. Any amount. <laughs> Chief. <laughs> Chief. Omo. <laughs> ah. My old dog. Oh. Heavy oh, money sender. Hey. Oh, my <laughs> Let me concentrate. <laughs> Oh, can do. Yeah. <laughs> Check your phone now. It, okay. has, it has entered as you that. Yes, it has entered. <laughs> <gasps> ah! <laughs> this is huge. Thank you. I hope that will be enough. More than enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Eh? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Uh, ah, Chief. Meet my Good friend. Good afternoon. Meet my friend Lola. Lola, meet my darling. Mm, my Chief. Mm. Boo, boo has everything. My number one and number two. Oh, Lilio. Is she the one that you say will be staying with you temporarily? Exactly. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. Uh, uh, same thing here, my dear. Uh, uh. Patricia, be in the room. All right, no problem. <laughs> oh, Corey. Oh, really? What is that now? Uh, Why are you using your eye to follow her like that? Uh, your friend is a very beautiful woman. Oh, <laughs> you know? oh okay. <laughs> so it's the same thing you did to that my other friend that day that you slept with her and gave her money that you want to do with this no, girl? No, no, no. I can't even be the same. You know, in that... How can your friend receive money from me and uh, refuse to sleep with me? You oh, know now. Chief, that's very, that's very shameless. It's not, it's, oh, it's not good. You see, this is my friend Lola. Oh. I won't let that happen. No, she's a no-go area. Ah, oh, dear. I, 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 I'm not even interested in her. She's not my type. Ah. No, she's not my type. I know. So who is your type? You know, you're my, you're my banana. You're my orange. You're my apple. It's you're my me oh, now. It's only me. Hey. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Uh, hey. Chief, oh, I will spoil you. Uh, I will treat you nice. Uh, I will give you everything. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. Say no more. Mm. May I, Chief, let's drink. Shall we drink? Of course. Just give me that. Give, 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 give it to me. Give it to me. Ah. Yeah. Oh, pario. Oh, pario. <laughs> hey. Mm. 
to health and love <laughs> yes, and goodwill. <laughs> What do you want? The document you asked for. Let me see. I'm having a business lunch today. You're coming with me. Okay, sir. And while you're there, you can order whatever you want to eat for lunch. You'll be there only to observe. Okay, does that mean I'll be alone, sir? Get there, you'll find out. Okay, sir. Kind of stress you are, huh? Just a little wahala. <laughs> Just a little wahala. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Ah, thank you. Cafe. I thirst. I love you. I, love you. <laughs> I thought you said you're in Abuja. Who's this woman? Baby, who's this? Uh, she's just a friend, okay? A friend? Wait, did you know Did you know I was here? Is this a prank? So how does this look like a prank to you? You just referred to me as a friend. Can you just stop acting special here? <laughs> Goodness. Wait, it's Lola. Why are you denying me in front of her? And why are you being dramatic? I'm being dramatic. Then who the hell is this woman? I'm his girlfriend. Who is she? I just told you. I'm his girlfriend. I wasn't talking to you. Ah? Huh? Baby. Let's leave this place. Let's look for someone else, okay? Oh, yeah. Listen, you're not going anywhere to give me. What do you want? What the hell is she? Why are you trying to embarrass me? Not even now stop this. Lola, stop it. Lola. Stop it. Lola. Let them go. What has come over you? If I had we acted, you would have hated me for the rest of your life. You behaved like a nuisance, all because of a man. You displayed irrational behavior in front of your boss, having lunch with a client. What were you thinking? Young woman, respect is earned. Earn it! You don't make yourself always available for a man. You look cheap. You look worthless. Stop behaving foolish. Get out of the office. Come on, get out. Damn. Honestly, today is just the worst day of my life. Who are you expecting? From a guy that don't used to use eye to see woman. I'm not surprised you saw him with a woman, Sha. Because that guy said is not correct. All my life I've trusted people. I've been nice. Why, why do bad things keep happening to me? Am I not good enough? All the men around me, they just keep disrespecting me. First, my boss. Now, Daniel. It is because you allowed them to. That's Daniel guy. He has been disrespecting you. But you turn a blind eye. Now, see. I'm just so ashamed of how I reacted. My emotion was just all over the place. I, I couldn't control myself. You're very lucky that your boss didn't fire you. Well, you can say I'm lucky, but, but working with that man has been hell. Can you imagine he told me to work on myself? As for that one, your boss is right though. I'm sorry. Huh? He's right? Yes. Have you met you lately? Lola, I don't even understand. What's up with you now? You don't dress up. You don't... Do your makeup, you don't even lay your hair properly. I 
don't know. Like, what do you want me to do? Lola, dress up. What do you want me to do, Patricia? I lost everything in the fire. Am I supposed to use the money I'm planning to get an apartment with to buy designers? I'm just saying you should dress up. Look good. Go for shopping. You're a woman. Looking good is good business. Your boss is right though. You need to step up. I really don't want to use the word hate, but I dislike that man with passion. I... It's your boss, eh? Hmm. One day I'll get to meet him, Sha. It's not just him, even that boss of mine. He just keeps frustrating me. What did I do to him? Pretty girls don't cry, you know? Pretty girls don't cry. <laughs> Pretty girls don't cry. Stop. I'm coming. Hello, Lola. Hi, good day, sir. How are you, Lola? Fine, sir. Uh, Patricia is not around. I know. Okay. Actually, I came to see you. To see me? Yes. Did Patricia do anything wrong? <laughs> no, my love. <laughs> Sir, I was actually on my way out before you came in. I'm in a hurry. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I don't want to waste your time, so let, let me not beat about the bush. Hmm? Take this. Sir, this is a very huge amount of money. Who is it for? For you, my dear. Take it, rent yourself a new apartment, buy yourself a befitting car, and start a new business. You, you can quit your job. Uh, sir, did Patricia discuss me with you? Well, actually, she told me about your challenges. But, um, see, to be frank with you, you're a beautiful girl. A very sweet girl. Mm. You need to get out of this poverty. I mean, you need a man, a real man like Chief Muiwa, to take care of you. You understand what I mean? A, a what? A real man. Sir, please, with all due respect, please stay away from me. I'm not interested. No, no, no. Just receive that. Just have an affair with me. I mean, let me be my girl, you know? I'm not interested, please. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't accept it. Lola. Uh, uh, take a good look at that, uh, Jacko. Uh, take a good look at it. I've seen it, sir, and it's very huge. I'm not interested, and I would never be interested. Please just take it and leave. I promise I won't tell Patricia anything. Uh, 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 take another look. Uh, uh, take a closer look, a second look at sir, it. Sir, please, I'm not interested. Except you want to borrow me, and I will pay maybe in five years' time. I don't know what kind of nonsense is that. Are you, are you, so, oh, look, me. Ah. I am giving you an opportunity to come out of poverty, to start a, a new life, a flamboyant life, a, a, a juicy life, you know? And you look me in the face, and you reject me and my advances. Ah, oh, you, da, oh, you, da, look, me. Let me tell you, you will regret this. You will. Chobo, you will regret it. I won't regret anything. I'm very hard working. Ha, 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 ha. What did I just see? Chief Muiwa. What does he do to offer me such amount, amount of money? 10 million naira. Ha! I need to ask Patricia. She needs to tell me what he does for a living. Jesus. Me will let you see this guy money, I beg. Eh? Let me just... I'm not forgetting my phone. Imagine what you want. Mm -hmm. This is my friend. So you have eyes for good things? Of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. By the time you wear this one to the office on Monday, 
that your boss will respect you. Uh, that one. That one lacks respect normally. Sometimes he even confuses me. <laughs> it is your turn to confuse him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <clears throat> Patricia. Hmm? Uh, <clears throat> I was just thinking, oh, if if I decide to quit my job, what kind of job do you think Chief Muiwa would offer me? Mm, a job that pays you money now. What else? What kind of job exactly? I don't know. I have to ask him. So you don't even know what he does for a living, do you? How am I supposed to know? I'm his wife. But then, Chief Muiwa is into different businesses. Oh. Bro. Yo, bro. I know I've been drinking since I got here. <laughs> but I actually came here for a reason. Oh, uh, you know what? I told uh, Linda to put a soup in the microwave and then she's boiling rice for us. <laughs> and what makes you feel that this is about food? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Your mother called me. First and foremost, Kachi, for how long would you be ordering food from food vendors? Have you thought about that? Huh? You need to move on, my man. I have moved on. No, you haven't. You haven't. And I know what I'm talking about. Huh? You've got so much love in your heart, bro. So much love to give. You need to stop pushing people away from you. George, when my mother called you, tell her I'm not ready. Please. There are still good women out there. God-fearing women. Josh, I'm going to be sitting here when you're ready to eat. Come over and let's uh, have something to eat. All right? Linda? Yes, sir. Is the food ready? Yes, I'm now. Okay. Come on, come let's eat. Come let's eat. You bring always, the bottle you of wine always bring the wine, bring the wine. You are it. always running away from the truth. That's, um, that's what you do. George, bring the wine. Come and sit down. Come, let's eat. Linda, I'm waiting. Bring it in. Once again, it's my pleasure meeting you. It's a pleasure, sir. As you can see, this joint belongs to me. So you're free to come in here anytime, any day, to have good time. All the best are normally on me. <laughs> okay. Yes. Ah, uh, I'm looking forward to doing good business with you. Hmm? So I think we'll meet in an appropriate time to discuss more business. Ah, I can't wait for that meeting, sir. All right. Anyways, I have to take my leave now. I have to get back to the office. All right. Okay. Right. Hi. Oh, hey, baby. My pumpkin. Mm -hmm. uh, where have you been? Um, I went to see my mom before coming. Ah, was that the agreement? You kept me waiting. I'm sorry, but I'm here now. Mm. Who, who is that man that you were <laughs> talking to? Oh, someone I love to do business with. Mm. That's the new CEO of Cash Adams Oil Company. Cash Adam, did you just say Cash Adam's oil company? Yeah. Uh, <gasps> That's the CEO? Yeah. Is that Kachi? Yeah, his name is Kachi. Kachi Adams. That's his name. Kachi Adams. Oh. Anything? Um, <laughs> not really. It's just that I thought he was an old man. An old man? No. He's a promising young man. Hmm? <sighs> Right, I can yeah. see that. Now, can we go off to the mall? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> let's go get some new clothes. Ah, uh, uh, there's half an hour. How was your outing? You are very selfish. Uh, uh, uh. Selfish? How? Yes. I met your boss today. 
Kachi Adams? Yes. It turns out that he's friends with Chief. Okay, I still don't understand. How am I selfish? <clears throat> this girl. When you were telling me about this, your boss, I was imagining one pot bellied man with big nose, big lip, big eyes. But it's the opposite of what you were describing. So that's why you called me selfish. You are very selfish. Ah! This is your boss. You are going to help me get him. <laughs> Patri, Patri, Patricia. <laughs> you know that's not possible. I can't. And why is it not possible? You just tell him that uh, you have one fine friend that is sexy that wants to, you know, meet him or something. Wait, 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 wait. I thought you said he's Chief's friend. And so? Ha. Anyway, I've never seen him with a woman. Never. So, what are you insinuating? I don't know anything about his love life. See, my boss is a very private person. Oh, my sake! I love my men private. <laughs> Give me his number, sharp, sharp. Patricia, that's not possible. It's unethical for me to give him my boss's number without his permission. If he finds out I gave his number, he'll just sack me. What's unethical here? It's just for you to give me his number. I will do the rest. I can't tell. I'm sorry. If you really need his number, maybe you should ask um, Chief. He Did you just use him what you just said? Wait, are you for real? <sighs> Your boss. The one that you have been shouting that is very bad, is very rude. You cannot give me his number. Yeah, but I can't. Ah, oh, this kid. But I you, you, are my friend. you saw him today. Why didn't you ask him for his number? Hey, Chief was there now. I can't do that now. Uh, eh? sorry, me, I can't you have know. to help me. Simple. We just get to the office on Monday. Since you don't want to give me his number, just tell him that ah, you have one very fine, petite, sexy friend. That if you see her eyes, that she's so beautiful, she's fine. Wait, wait are you really serious? Is this like a joke? Are we joking? I don't tell you, sir. I don't see my future husband. They ask me question. Hello, Patricia. Patricia, I'm at work. Like right now? Okay. Hold on, let me let me take permission from my boss, please. I'll be there right away. So, um, Don't forget the meeting is at two o'clock. And uh, uh, when you get that stuff done for me, just uh, let me know right away. No, you can right. you can count on me, sir. Okay, all right, all right. That's nice one. Yes. Excuse me, sir, please. Yeah. I just got a call from home. It's an emergency. Emergency. Yes, yes. please. Can I go, sir? Are you going to be back before the close of day? I I don't know. It depends on how it goes. I I don't know. Okay, let me know if you can't come back. Okay, sir. But anyhow, make sure you are at work early in the morning. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I can no longer accommodate you. So I will advise you leave this house peacefully so I don't have to push you. <sighs> Patricia, you want me to leave your house because of a man? Not just a man. A handsome and successful man. Know that and no peace. God. I'm not stopping you from being my boss. You can have him if you want him, but it just can't be through me. It's not possible. Ah. And you are my friend. Are you not a wicked person? So you can take his insults, but you cannot help me, your friend. After all I did for you, Lola. So you want me to what? Jeopardize my job because you want to go on a date with my boss? Mm -hmm. Am I not worth it? Am I not worth it? So what if he tells you to leave the work? I have Chief Muiwa. He's well connected. He can get you another job. I can't believe this. You can't believe what? It's okay. You know what? I think you should leave. When you decide to do the needful, you can come back and live with me for as long as you want. Patricia, you're being Stop this your innocent thing you are doing. You think I don't know? You think I didn't know that you tried to seduce Chief Muiwa? What? Is that what he told you? That is what is the truth. You flaunted yourself at him. He rejected you because you're obviously not his type. Oh God, my goodness. He told you that and you believed him. Why didn't you tell me that he came looking for me when I wasn't around? Huh? Trisha, how could... Uh, 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 please leave. Should I push you? 
Respect yourself now. Hmm? Do small things, just small things. Just help your friend. Help a woman. Women, women supporting women, you can't even do it. It's hard for you. But you've been staying in my house, eating my food, drinking my water, doing everything in my house. Small thing you cannot. Please go. I don't want to push you. Please leave. I'm tired of all these charity cases. It's leave, fine. please. Fine. No, problem. no problem. Be going. All these things will not work for me. When you meet one man, you can be doing all this, your innocent. It won't work for me. Please go. Thank you. Go. All these quiet people, they are always up to no good. That's why I don't like charity cases. Everything. Small work, you cannot even do it. After you say, you are my friend. Nonsense. I don't even know what to do. I'm stranded. She threw my things out. How could she have done that to you? So what are you going to do now? I don't even know. I had to sleep at one ship hotel yesterday. I can't continue like this, else I won't be able to save. So what's the solution? Can't you talk to your boss about it? Eh? My boss? <laughs> if I dare tell that one, he'll just add to my problem, I beg. Lola, what kind of boss do you have? Honestly, I don't want to talk about my boss. My boss is a very difficult person. He doesn't even smile. I don't know. I'll just... I'll just call you later. Please call me when you have the time. Okay. All right, bye. Thank you. Bye. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Sir, so I. So you're homeless? <sighs> yes, sir. Where are your things? It's downstairs at the security post. Tell my driver to put your luggages in my trunk. And make sure you're in the car at the close of work. Don't let me wait for you. Sir? Does he want to give me a place to stay? <sighs> he must have heard what I said. It's your mouth. It's your mouth to not put you into trouble. <sighs> oh, let me go and put the bag before he changes his mind. Linda? Yes, sir. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Linda, this is Lola, my assistant. Uh, Lola, this is Linda, my housekeeper. Welcome, Lola. Please call me Linda. Okay, take Lola to the guest room. She'll be living with us for now. Okay, sir. Please. Don't worry, I can carry. Oh, no. Let her take it. Please, follow me. You talk too much. Sorry, sorry. Follow her. Yes, sir. Food was really nice. I enjoyed it. Oh, I'm glad you did. I didn't make it though. The chef did. Oh, so no one cooks here? Not really. I like cooking. It's a hobby. <laughs> oh, maybe you cook for us one of these days. Well, I, I don't mind. Okay. Uh, no, 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 please. Don't do that. I'll handle this. It's I, my duty. I just want to help. No, thank you. I, I'll, I'll take care of you. I'm not doing anything. I can just assist you. 
please. <laughs> you don't have to do the dishes. I'll handle it. Thank you. Okay, I'll watch you then if you don't want me to do anything. Is that <laughs> okay? okay? <laughs> Mr. Kachi. Yes. I I haven't said this since I got here. Said what? Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I, I really appreciate. Thank you. Thank me for what? Uh, for giving me a roof over my head without me asking. Well. You needed shelter and I stepped in and helped, even though you think I'm very difficult. Uh, uh, Sam, I'm, I'm sincerely sorry for that statement. I'm really sorry. He smiled. What did you say? Nothing, nothing. Never mind, sir. Uh, good night, sir. I ain't trying to be a man. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. I ain't trying to be a man. Checking me out Hell yeah, you like what you see But you know we ain't coming To see a man like me holding it down Cause I got it on lock Add it to breakfast Good morning Have you had breakfast? Yes, he didn't come down for breakfast Linda Linda Yes sir Good morning sir Happy birthday Linda Oh my god, you remembered <laughs> Thank you sir I wish you long life and prosperity, and I want you to know that I um, appreciate you a whole lot. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your sincerity, your dedication to my home. Uh, people like you are rare to find. You've been with me for about how many years? Eight years now? Yeah, eight years. <laughs> wow. Wow. Look, um, living with me, working for me, is not the easiest thing to do. But I appreciate you, and I really want you to know that. You're a very kind man, sir. <laughs> I um, wanted to get you a dress or something, but uh, I don't know your size. So take this money, buy whatever you want to buy for yourself. Thank you very much, sir. God okay. bless you. Okay. Happy birthday, Linda. I didn't know it's your birthday. I would have gotten you a gift. It's no problem, Lola. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Enjoy the rest of your day, okay? Receiving party will receive um receiving party will maintain in confidence and will disclose, disseminate or come in, use any confidential evidence information belonging to company company's client. What do you want? I didn't send for you. Um, sir, it's almost lunchtime. I thought to get you food. So you don't have to stress yourself going all the way. Thank you. You're welcome. Receiving party agrees that receiving party short treat or confidential information. Everything okay, Miss Lola? Um, where, where did you buy that food from? <laughs> I didn't buy it though. I'm really, 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 really very lucky today. Our boss gave it to me. Our boss gave it to you? Yes. When? A few minutes ago. 
Where is he now? Has he gone back to his office? No. I think he really stepped out for lunch and he drove himself to the eatery. Is something wrong, Miss Lola? Oh, no. No, no. Nothing is wrong. Are you going out? I came to talk to you. Talk to me? Could have waited till I got, got back to the office. You gave the food I bought for you to someone else. Lola, so being emotional. I wasn't in the mood to eat. That's why I could eat the food. Then you should have just told me. You rejected the food and that's the same food you came to eat here. I only wanted to return the favor because you fed me this morning without eating. Lola. Get hold of your emotions, you understand? People are watching us. I'm an emotional person. It's so painful. You rejected the food I, I, I bought for you out of the kindness of my heart. What do you want me to do? To refund you for the food? Send me your account. I will, I will, I will give you back the money so you can calm down. All right? It's, it's not about the food or the money. You know what? I'm so sorry for coming here to distract you. So silly of me. I'll just go back to the office. I told you the same thing. We'll talk when I get back to the office. You're still carrying on about things around you. Now you're going back to the office. It's only food. Why are you making it so serious? Lola? Miss Lola? Miss Lola? Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry you called me. Yes, I was just going to tell you that dinner is ready. Oh, I, I'm not hungry. Thank you. Why? Are you okay? Don't tell me that there's nothing wrong because I won't believe you. You seem really off since you got back from work with Mr. Gachi. What's wrong? I don't know. It just it just seems like there is absolutely nothing I do for Mr. Kachi that is good enough. It makes me feel so uncomfortable leaving here. It's like I'm not even welcomed no, don't here. Don't say that. Mr. Kachi wants you to be here. He's a very good man and very friendly too. <laughs> friendly? <laughs> How? He's not friendly at all. Well, maybe not these days, but he used to be very friendly. These days, I just feel like he's just guarding his heart. Guarding his heart? For what? It's not in my place to tell. I really don't understand. It's like this minute he's nice and the next minute he turns into... Into what? I really don't want to use the word, but he's just so mean to me. Trust me, Mr. Kachi is a very kind man. And you're going to see it soon. Honestly, I don't even get it. Sometimes I hate him and, and sometimes I... Love him? <laughs> jeez. <laughs> no, jeez. Like, I'll use the word like. I just like him as a person. That's mm -hmm. all. Let me ask you something, Lola. Does Mr. Kachi treat your other colleagues the way he treats you? That's what's funny. No, he doesn't. Maybe because I'm his PA and I work with him most of the time, I guess. Or maybe because he loves you and he's just scared that <laughs> when he gets too close, you're going to see it. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I made you laugh, but do you think this is funny? Very funny. <laughs> 
Mr. Kachi does not like me one bit. Mm. As a matter of fact, I, I think he's just tolerating me. But I just want to understand him. I'm sorry. I can't help you on that. But I can tell you one thing. Every scar has a story. Every scar. Does Mr. Kachi have a scar? No, no not like that. You know what? I need to go tell him that dinner is ready. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> Mr. Kachi loves me. Very funny. <laughs> Talking to someone, so let's go to talk to someone about. Where is Lola? She was here in the living room, but I guess she has gone back to her room. Have you informed her about dinner? Yes, but she says she doesn't have appetite. Maybe I'll just go back and let her know that. No, no, it's okay. It's fine. It's okay. I'll be right back. Ugh, Linda, I told you I'm not eating. Shouldn't have bothered. I'm coming. I'm not hungry. Hey. Linda told me you're not in the mood to eat. Why? Nothing. Just say that you're you're mad at me because I gave your food to the secretary to eat. Admit it. Well, I have every right to be angry till this moment. Nothing I do for you ever seem right. Oh. So how do you think I felt when you refused to go for lunch with me after all the meetings we had? So that's why you gave my food to someone else? And then you embarrassed me in front of your driver. You said I have body odor. I said what? Yes, you said that and I felt bad. I never said you have body odor. I never even implied it. What I said to you was that you need to work on yourself. I perceived you had trouble uh, believing in yourself. And uh, I think you like to please people not considering how it's going to affect you negatively or positively. I think you need to believe more in yourself. You need to put yourself first. Otherwise, people are just going to continue to mess you up. Who hurt you? Why? Who broke your heart? Okay, I didn't come upstairs to talk about me. So, um, can we go downstairs for dinner? Take my hands, let's go. Without getting an apology first. Okay, Lola. I apologize for making you feel bad about yourself. It was not my intention. So, um, apology accepted? Yes, apology accepted. So, uh, can we go and have dinner now? I thought you wanted to hold my... <laughs> not anymore. Come on, let's go. I ain't trying to be a man. <sighs> Leave it with us. I know you're checking me out. Hell yeah, you like what you see. But you know we ain't coming to see a man like me holding it down. Cause I got it on lock. Add it to the right presence. So sharp. In a hand on my business. Got no time for shenanigans. So when you see me flash a smile, let you believe it. I ain't trying to be a man. I'm just a natural. Trying to get in your pants, no. Don't go like that. Hey. It's a man of my way. You don't have to actually finish all these reports. You can complete them on Monday at the office. If you have somewhere to go this weekend, I mean, you can go and uh, enjoy your weekend. 
I don't have anywhere to go. Okay. Your boyfriend? No. Yeah. Your phone habit sucks terribly, you know that. My God! I've been calling you! My God! You're not picking up your call. What's up now? The phone is upstairs, bro. I left it in the room. Good evening, sir. What do you mean, good evening? Sir, I'm not your boss. You can call me George. <laughs> I think I've seen this face somewhere else before. What's your name? Lola. She's my personal assistant. And oh. she lives here now. Permanently? Temporarily. Temporarily. All right. Man, but I didn't come to sit and watch your work. Must you always work, by the way? Bro. Huh? What? What? Uh, truthfully, I have no plans of going out today. So oh, really? Just inside. <laughs> but I've got plans to go out tonight. Good for you. I've got plans to go out and drink. Eat Unkwabi. It's uh, you. Uh, you would not tempt me. Which everything. I refuse to be tempted. And I am not taking no for an answer tonight. You're coming with me. Oh. Hey, uh, you. Where do you think you're going to? Huh? You're coming with us. Sit down. What? This is six foot two inches, 95 kilograms of lean, mean muscles oh talking God. to you. Oh my God. Sit down. George. What? She's your assistant, so what? Don't bring your professionalism here, all right? She's coming with us. Babe. What? Go dress her. Why are you looking at him while I'm here? Oh, you've not realized that your boss no get mouth why they. Kachi has no choice when it comes to me. And I'm saying it in his presence. Oh my god. You didn't read it from the blogs. Oh my god. Go change, babe. We're going out. Just the fact that she's my personal assistant. I just don't want her tagging along with us, you know? Why? Do I have to tell you why? Of course, tell me why and then I'll let her be. Otherwise, come on now. <laughs> this guy. All right. I'm going to change. Better. I'll be right here waiting for you both. I'm not going to waste my time. <laughs> George, George. It's hard to be I'm trying to be a man. Oh my god, I love what you're wearing. You look so beautiful. Thank you. Are you sure the makeup is not too much? Sure. No, 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 I did it for you. You look perfect. Thank you. Good to know that. Me too. I got it on lock, add it to right presents, so sharp, in a hand on my business, got no time for Ooh. shenanigans, so when you see me flash a smile at you, do I, do I change? No, no, it's okay, it's fine, you look good, uh, Linda, I don't think we're going to be staying too late out, okay, so uh, wait up for us, George, yep, my man, oh. Don't get no Don't get a seems like a really nice lady. I just wish Mr. Kachi would fall in love with her. The both of them look so good together. God, just open Mr. Kachi's eyes. Eh? He deserves a woman that will love him genuinely. Not all these gold diggers.
Why are you looking at her that way? One way. How? Come on, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so you're saying that I don't have the right to admire a single girl anymore? Single girl? You no, know, you're yet to finalize your divorce, right? So? George? What? Let me talk about you quickly and drive with you. All right. Hello, Bob. Where did he go? I said he's um he needs to go talk to his father. So he needs to take the call. Okay. Have dinner with me tomorrow, brother. You surprised I'm being this fought back with you. Don't be surprised. I'd like to get to know you better. Be my friend. Hmm? Don't you think I should take permission from my boss first? Why? Is he your father? Or did I ask for his permission when I asked you to come along with us tonight? No. What's the point? Let's have dinner tomorrow. 7 p.m. I'll pick you up. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> awesome. I'm back. Yep, you're welcome back. What did I miss? Lula and I are having dinner tomorrow. It's dinner. Oh. Cool. Cool. Kachi, I don't know how you see it, but for me, eh, see, this financial policy, this new pol CBM policy is moronic, for lack of a better word, honestly. And I, I don't see why anybody should... Oh, wow. You look ravishing, absolutely. Thank you. Sir, I'm, <clears throat> I'm going out with your friend. Yeah, yeah. Um, enjoy your night. Thank you, sir. Bro, so I'll see you when I bring her back tonight. Hmm? Yeah. Sure. I promise I'll drop her off safe and sound. Yeah. Stay cool, man. Yeah. Sure. in the past but I'm really really sorry believe me when I say so about the way you you lost your parents while you were still in the university it must have been very horrendous for you and your brother yes <clears throat> it was my older brother had to drop out of school he ventured into business just to take care of me but he'll go back to school soon Plan for next year. And even more so the fact that you went ahead regardless of all of the challenges and the mountains that you had to climb to graduate. You must be a very, very strong young woman and feel you with pride. Thank you. And admiration. <laughs> Ask me anything, I'm open to any question. <sighs> oh, you don't want to know anything about me? Uh, okay, first of all, I'm really sorry that you're going through a divorce right now. 
you mean you're really sorry that God delivered me from an evil woman? She was evil. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to paint her bad, but I just couldn't cope any longer with her but cheating spouse. It's, it's the hardest thing I ever had to do. Yeah. So you can say it's bad riddance to good rubbish. Yeah. I, I dodged a bullet, whatever you call it. <laughs> I'm happy. I mean, look at me now. Yeah. Well, there is something I want to know concerning my boss. All right, Kachi, what is it? Yeah, I hope you don't mind. No, no, no. no. Um, can you tell me about his car? Mm -mm. I'm sorry that I'm laughing, but <laughs> did you see his car? No, but I heard there's a story behind his car. You heard? Of course there is a story. Can you tell me about it? Isn't it obvious that you want to know? Kachi <laughs> <laughs> uh, was in a very serious relationship with a certain young lady in the past. He was a lover boy in the relationship. He loved and trusted this lady with everything he could muster within him. And one day, he walked in on her in a hotel with another man. A man she claimed that was her cousin. They were always her cousins. He saw her with different men? A couple of times, yes. yes. <laughs> and um, this particular incident, when it happened, I mean, there was a mild drama. But surprisingly to everyone, Kachi forgave her. His reasons? Well, he said, provided he didn't see him sleeping with a girl or catch her sleeping with a guy right-handed that he doesn't believe that there's anything between them. Yeah. So he went ahead, forgave her, and even engaged her. Wow, he loved her. Stupid love at the time, and I told him, because he ignored all the red flags and all the danger signs in the relationship just because he thought he was in love with her. And then again, the lady struck. This time around, he walked in on her in his own home with another cousin of hers. Wow. Yeah. She brought them home. You don't know half of it. And when he approached her, I accosted her about it. And Yes, having claimed that, of course, the usual excuse that it was her cousin, when Kachi insisted, I mean, she's always been in the habit of throwing tantrums, venting her frustration and anger on household items, furniture, or television, each time Kachi catches her like that in a lie. But this time around, she went, took it even further, took a nine and almost fatally stabbed Kachi in the chest. What? How could she have done that? She did it. And we are lucky to still have Kachi here with us today. She's lucky to still be alive. Oh. Of course she was arrested and charged for attempted murder and all, but she has been terribly scarred, I mean, emotionally and traumatized. And ever since then, he's found it extremely impossible to trust or get involved in any relationship with any lady ever since then. He even sold the house and moved out. Like, he didn't want anything that held the memory of that bitter experience. Man. He doesn't want to get hurt again. Never again. Would you blame him? Someone who loved and trusted a woman like that, is that all he gets? Who would blame him? <clears throat> well, now that you know about this car, my dear, let's talk about this. 
us? You and I, of course. We don't want to know about me. Well, we'll talk about us, but I'd like to know how how can someone get Mr. Kachi to trust her? I thought we're here to know about each other. I thought this dinner was about getting to know, I mean, you and I. If you wanted to know about Kachi, but why didn't you just have a conversation with him? Well, I don't understand. Huh? Sorry about that. You came back alone. How about Mr. George? I thought he was coming to drop you. Well, I didn't even ask why. He called Mr. Kachi that he won't be able to drop me, so he ordered a cab. Mm -hmm. That's even better. Mr. Kachi was very nervous. He was just pacing all over the house. Why? So why did you agree to go, go out with Mr. George? <laughs> he seems nice. Eh, he's a nice person. But he's a liar. And he womanizes a lot. Okay. Before we know it now, he'll start asking you to be his girlfriend. Seriously, don't say that. He's still trying to get a divorce from his wife for cheating on him. You see? He told you his wife is the one that cheated. When he is the one that cheated on her. And she had to dump him. <laughs> Where did you get that information from? His wife. I overheard her when she was telling um, Mr. Kachi about it. She said he brought a woman to their matrimonial bed. Wow. Seriously? So, why didn't Mr. Kachi warn me about him? You were planning to date him if he asked you. <laughs> no, jeez. I'm not even attracted to him. He's not my type. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, is Mr. Kachi your type? Okay, stop. Stop right there. <laughs> You're not going to put words in my mouth, I beg. <laughs> Where is he though? He's in his room. Okay, I'll go check on him. Did he bring the food stuff I ordered? Yes. Why are you smiling like this? I will go check on him. I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> oh god. A date? It wasn't a date, just dinner. Oh. Hmm. It's my brother. I'd like to speak with him in my room. Okay, sure. I'll see you during dinner. All right, sure. Linda? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you get the food from the same chef or you patronized somebody else? Sorry, is there something wrong, sir? No, no, no. I, I like it. Lola prepared it. You did? Yes, sir. Wow, it's delicious. I, I love it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, Linda, and go back. I ain't trying to be a man. It's hard to believe in. I ain't trying to be a man. Blah, blah, blah. I ain't trying to be a man. Believe it when blah, I say blah, that. Blah. I ain't trying to be a I know you're checking me out. Hell yeah. <laughs> I got it on lock, add it 
to write presents so sharp in the hand of my business got no time for shenanigans so when you see me flash a smile let you Lola, are you okay? Yes, sir. No, you're not. I can tell from your face. I thought you were happy we had dinner just a few minutes ago. I know. I, I was just thinking about it. Thinking about what? The call with my brother. Is he okay? Yeah, he, he's fine. He just got an apartment. He lives in Enugu. Oh, it's good. You should be happy for your brother. I'm happy for him. Then what is the problem? <clears throat> he told his boss about me. His boss has a friend and they're offering me a job with a good salary. My brother wants me to accept it and relocate. I really love working for you, sir. But sometimes I feel I feel like you don't appreciate me. It makes me feel so uncomfortable. When I went out with George, I couldn't stop talking about Go. What did you say? Accept the job. Relocate. Go and live with your brother. The company needs you until the end of the month and uh We'll find a replacement for you. You can be replaced, Lola. Do what you want. Good night. What's wrong? Why are you so tensed? He has no idea what I want. I keep saying that this man hates me so much. No, he doesn't hate you. Why would you say that? I was... I was going to tell him how I couldn't stop talking about him when I went out with George. And also tell him that I know about his car and why he's like this. But he just, he just really hates me. No. He doesn't hate you. Ever since Mr. Kachi got stabbed, see, no woman has ever spent a night in this house. I was really shocked when he brought you to live with him. I mean, he could have gotten a hotel room for you or found another alternative, but he chose to bring you to his home. Do you know what that means for him? Just stop defending him, okay? Just stop. He wants me to leave and I'm just going to go. I'll, I'll leave by the end of the month. Can you imagine he said I can be replaced? God. That's so painful. I'm sorry. But it's not like that. It's not what you think. I don't think so. Linda? Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, sir. Um, where's Lola? She has gone to work. She left very early. Oh. You're breakfasting. No, I'm not eating. I'm off to work. See you later. Okay, sir. Miss Lola. Hi. Those files are for you to work on. Oh, yes. The boss asked the secretary to give them to me. I don't have a choice. <laughs> okay. I, I do hope you find some time to do it well. <laughs> sure. Uh, the boss has, um, I mean, the boss is going to be having a meeting at uh, Gourmet's restaurant. Oh, really? I, 
I didn't know about that. Okay. Anyways, thanks for the update. You're welcome. Well, see you around. Yeah, Actually, sure. you look good. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right. Who's there coming? Good morning, sir. I didn't send for you. What do you want? I was told you have a meeting. I want to know when you'll be leaving. You're not going with me. Why, if I may ask? Because your services are not needed at a meeting. Focus your attention on the documents you have heaped on your desk. And next time before you come into my office, let me call you first. Never come to my office without me calling you. Get out. Mr. Kachi, I have done everything to please you. Why do you derive so much pleasure in disrespecting me? You look down on me as if I'm worthless. I may be an orphan, but I'm someone's sister. So the next time you want to talk to me, you talk to me with respect. There's this tension between you and Mr. Kachi these days. You go to work without him, he comes back home without you. The both of you even barely talk in this house these days. When will it end? Well, there's, there's nothing to talk about. Besides so doing my job and when I'm done, I'll leave by the end of the month. But I don't want you to leave. And stop pretending you don't want to leave either. Yeah, right. But Mr. Kachi wants me to leave. Did he say anything to you? No, he didn't. But he hasn't disrespected me since then. I've noticed something about him recently. What? He barely eats his meals. Good morning, sir. You're going out already? Yes, I have to finalize a business deal by the close of today. I've been trying to call uh, George, but his number is not going through. If he gets here, let him know I'm going to see Chief Moyua at his bar, okay? Okay, sir. All right. D did you just say Chief Moyua? Yeah, do you know him? Yes. Yeah. Can I see the document? Did you make inquiries concerning Chief Muiwa? Why are you asking me this question? Answer me. Linda, yes, excuse sir. us. Okay, sir. What's going on? Tell me. This is a 50 million Naira deal. You'll be making a big mistake if you invest your money with Chief Miwa. Chief Moiwa is a very reputable person in the He's society. He's not who you think he is. You need to cancel this meeting and you're not going to sign this deal. <sighs> it's just that his businesses are not really genuine. It's not some dubious things. Well, then again, he gets away with it, so I would say he's a brilliant scammer. A scammer? Mm -hmm. Are you not scared of being in a relationship with a scammer? I don't understand. Why is that my business? What he does for a living does not concern <laughs> me. 
Well, I'm only there for the good time as a baby girl, that's all. Patricia, that is risky. <laughs> what is my business now? Huh. That does not concern me. Am I his family member? Okay, so it's just the money that concerns you. It's just <laughs> the money that concerns ah, me, baby okay. girl. All day, every day. <laughs> I see. <laughs> and just besides, be careful. There's nothing to be careful there now. Hmm. If police or EFCC want to catch him, hmm. it's himself they will catch and his family members. Me, I'm not among. Simple. I'm shocked. A scammer. Hey, hey, God, God, God. And you're speaking of this grammar. I pity you. Me, I'm not a mom now. Hey. The only thing between me and Chief is like buying and selling. Hmm. I give him something, he gives me back. How does it concern me again? Patricia, please, you're the only one I have in this world. They should not go and arrest you for ah, me. Right? Hey. You. Nobody can arrest me. The way you are talking, all these old boys, me, don't they have girlfriends? Ah, okay. When they arrest them, they used to arrest their babe. I arrest my kids. Again, he cannot even ma mention my name. Otherwise, I will deny him. You think so? Oh, you think he will Peter did this one? <laughs> me? I fit to your life. He will <laughs> slay you. Kiri Kiri. <laughs> me? What forbid? I have okay. no bloodline in that Kiri Kiri prison. It's his business. If they just catch him like this, bye bye. Okay, this house, I'm managing with you. Wow. This is unbelievable. You really need to be careful. I had no idea he's a froster. He's a very smart man. I think you should call him and tell him you're no longer interested. No, no, no. I'm not just going to call him. I will get the police involved. Uh, they need to investigate him. Probably the EFCC. I don't want anybody else to fall into this trap. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I'm glad I stayed in and listened to you. Yeah, you would have made a big mistake. Thank you. I really appreciate what you did. You're welcome, sir. Wow. Chief Moiwa. I'll make sure you pay for this. I'll just go straight to the point. I don't need to sit. Are you still seeing Chief Muiwa? Yes. Did you lose your job? No, no. Ugh, far from it. I just really need you to be careful. I heard the EFCC is investigating him. And if they find you with him, they might just arrest you as well as an accomplice. So you just have to be really careful. Hmm. Why are you being nice to me, despite what I did to you? Patricia, you were... You were there for me when no one was, so... Why not? <sighs> I see. Thank you. You know, I've always known you to be a good person. And I knew that you didn't seduce Chief Muiwa. Now you've said this ESCC thing, I think I need to stay away from him. Because I don't want any trouble. I don't want to go to jail. I love my baby girl life. But since you're here already, Lola, I have been meaning to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I don't know what I was thinking when I said you should hook me up with your, with your boss. That man might not even like me. Okay, you are a good person. You were a good friend to me. And I am sorry. I'm sorry for what I did, what I said, everything. I have even thought about relocating abroad. Maybe that way I can find a better person. Lola, please. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. It's okay. I forgive you. I would also be relocating to Enugu, despite the fact that I have a crush on my boss. What? You don't say! <laughs> you, Lola! <laughs> hey, you have a crush on your boss! I mean, it's a long story. A whole lot happened and 
Finally! Oh, but you stop. But does he know? Have you told him? No. No what? Why? You see, this is the thing. Life is too short. When you love somebody, just tell the person, I like you. I love you. I want you. Simple. It's not that simple. I can't. Why can't you? I don't know. Okay, let's react together. It's simple now. You just say, hey boss. I have a crush on you. Patricia, can you just stop? I know you're so it's you're so dramatic, but please just stop. I know that's difficult. I'm shy. I don't know. I miss you so much. But hey, don't do that again. I won't. I promise. Okay. I love you. A little bit though. <laughs> Get me something to drink. Back? Get out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I miss this house though. Chief Moyua has been arrested. Uh, <clears throat> was he was he alone when he was arrested? Yes, he was. <sighs> I'm sure when they publicize the arrest, his victims will come out. I'm sure they would. What are you doing? Packing my bag. Uh, I leave tomorrow. You leave tomorrow? Yes. Can I show you something? Show me what? Do I have your permission to remove my shirt? You, you want to show me your scar? How did you know about my scar? I asked about you. I know everything that happened. And I just want you to know that when I had dinner with George, you were all we talked about. So yes, you have my permission. You can take off your shirt. I want to see your scar. Of my mind, and I could try so hard to get you out of my system, but it's hard for me. Say with me, Lola. Please, say with me. On my bed, trying to fight the idea of you far away. Stay with me. I've been trying to fight what I feel for you. This deep, deep thing I feel inside for you. But I just can't. I just can't. Sorry for the way I spoke to you in the past. I swear. I wasn't trying to hurt you. I was just afraid. I I wanted to see you differently. I I, I didn't want what I felt inside for you to to show, but I guess I failed. And I'm sorry. When when I started working for you, I thought you were the meanest person in the world. But then I saw a sweet, kind side of you that drew me closer. I fell in love with you without even realizing. And when I did, you kept pushing me away. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't want to 
I'll get hurt again. I will never hurt you. I didn't know that. I love you, Kachi Adams. I don't know if you love me too. If I let you in my heart, if I open up my heart to you, will you stay? Do you promise not to hurt me? I, I promise I would never hurt you. I'll stay with you. I love you, Lola. I swear I really, really love you. So if this is enough, tell me what it is When it's not easy to get you off my mind And I could try so hard to get you out of my church town But it's hard for me to just smile and say goodbye So I'll be tossing and turning on my bed Trying to fight the idea of you Far away I'll be pacing and groping Trying to hold on Clutching at straws Cause I cannot deal with what's in front of me Can watch you leave me 